how does the diaspora experience define your identity and your aspirations and your worldview? Um, well, for me, both my parents had to flee Eritrea at very young ages just to get away from all the um, warfare and knowing their story and their journey just to get to America and get the best opportunity to set up for me and my brothers has really put me in a place where that has driven me to do what I am doing in life and to succeed in, succeed in everything that I venture for. What I do with my life and all the decisions I make, I go to school because I know that they never had the greatest opportunity to get an education, to be able to have the career they dreamed of because of the journey that they had to take to get here. identity affect me. It affects me in the sense that like realizing my parents had to come here because of the hard times they were facing in Eritrea. It makes me realize that I need to step up and I need to ensure that I will be able to take care of my parents in the future as well as my country knowing the hard times that my country is going through whether it be economically or politically makes me want to involve myself to ensure that I can help those people so whatever I, whatever path I choose to take in life whether it be a medical path or a, a path within technology I want to ensure that I can help my or train people out and they can benefit from my career path because I feel as though we are blessed to be in America our parents didn't get the educational opportunities that we got, so we need to take advantage of that and make sure that whatever we choose to be in life will be something that benefits our country and our people in general. What I find unique about um, the first generation Eritrean is that most of the Eritreans around me have um, developed new ways to interact with people other than Eritreans. They've built a foundation um, such as Eden, which is located in DC. They discuss the political um, values of Eritrea, the diaspora at the moment, and ways to communicate with people at this time. And I believe that as Eritreans in this generation, we have gone beyond and um, what our parents expected and what they want from us. Skirmishes. The EPLF accepted the surrender of the Ethiopian Second Revolutionary Army. 80,000 men laid down their weapons and returned to their homeland. Sorry, I don't ask you. Um, how do you keep <laughs> co the culture alive when mm -hmm. we're not living anywhere close to Eritrea? We're in America. How do you reach those boundaries in your own way? I think you have to go out of your way. You have to go and seek it. If you just expect it to come to you, you won't be encultured in who you are. I don't think it's a challenge to ensure that Eritrean culture strives in America because honestly in the end it's on you. As a current board member of ESA, I believe that um, our community here has helped me open up to certain individuals that I thought I could never open up to. I have gained the ability to speak to others. I tend to be a little shy, but um, ESA and the Eritrean students here have helped me gain strength to be open to new opportunities and activities that we offer. So VCU has helped me balance out my American identity with my Eritrean identity in the sense that I am surrounded by other Eritreans who are also culturally knowledgeable and we're able to share everything culturally together as far as any questions we have or any um, anything as far as like whether we're talking about like 
economic, economical things, political things, anything food-wise. I'm able to be surrounded by other people who are Eritrean and can help me, you know, indulge in my Eritrean culture. Well, as well as understanding what it means to be a first-generation American and how that affects our lives and how being a return affects our lives. Um, I think NACU has shaped me to express my culture more because I picked this school because of the diversity it has. That is the, was probably one of the number one choices that I made. I wanted to be encultured with different types of people, with different types of color and different types of styles. Those things that may help me embrace what I um, what I can give to with my culture and who I am as a person. Also, ESA has been sort of a godsend to keep me more um, connected with my culture and be more connected with Ezra, having all these different people from different places all over Virginia and all over like the, this area just come together and like we can have fun together and you know relate play it relate stories and have jokes about our families and how we're all similar in different ways but still per give different aspects and I think it's just really uh, really cool to have that uh, May I take it that the General Assembly accepts the recommendation of the Security Council and adopts draft resolution A slash forty seven slash L six one by acclamation. <laughs> it is so decided. There are two things I want you all to know about Eritrea. We have unity and we also have survived many things in Eritrea. Um, I believe we carry unity within friends, family, and within our faculty here at VCU. Also, survival. Eritrea has gone through many dilemmas and hardships through the past couple of years, and as the 25 years is approaching, I believe we have the ability to make certain changes for the better. So what it means for me to be Eritrean is that I understand that Eritrea is my one and true only home and that that I feel as though that is the only place I belong and everywhere else to me is temporary. Um, it just means that like for me I don't completely feel at home other than when I get to visit Eritrea and I'm within Eritrean culture and surrounded by Eritreans. So that is basically what it means for me to be Eritrean. My Eritrean identity, I don't even know how to put it in words. There's so many aspects of being Eritrean that I identify with. Um, from one most, when people ask me, where are you from? Eritrea is the number one thing. I'll educate them, I'll let them know exactly. I'll pull up a map if they need to. But I wrote this poem uh, a couple years ago, and it's more of a reflection of my first experience in Ezra when I was seven. It says, home is where the heart is, they say. My heart is across the pond and through the desert in a small country who I truly am resides. Kind-hearted, proud, and strong represents my people of Edifa. Only two grandparents still alive, excitement hits my heart for the anticipation to see them. This new adventure to discover who I am and what I represent. The sweet taste of Belles hitting my lips and the sounds of monkeys in the cliffs roaming around. I am carefree, running around and playing with my brothers, watching the cattle and the goats, seeing the burial grounds of my grandmother, Hanusu, the unknown connection I have, something inside me, a spirit or a light, I feel with it from her. This is what shapes me, what gives me form, where my heart and soul is.